we're, I feel like we're stalled, you know, and that we need to push. And so, you know, there's people out there that are trying that think the same thing. And, um, and it's just bringing those people together. And then when, once, that, once that happens, we'll have this solution culture where we're not just talking about things, but we're, we're, we're able to, you know, get people involved and get people thinking the right way. And it usually just involves them themselves, but people have heard that forever and don't know what it means most of the time. Um, they don't understand what that means, like how you can do this. Go down and vote. Go down. It's really simple stuff like that that people tell you, but it's really more than that. It's really more like, okay, get behind these solutions that are root cause solutions. You know, put your energy into those. Show it for them. Support them. Talk about them so that more people think about them. Like 24, like 24 seven live stream security in schools, right? That is how you eliminate the groomer problem. Like upfront, like right now. That's, that's, a, that's symptom management. Yes, but it's, it also it's called, it solves that problem immediately because it takes away the incentive for the groomers to be there, right? It, they need unauthorized access to kids in order to do their grooming, right? And if you have mics on and cameras on and people watching, and, and parents in every classroom, then yes, it would be, hey, how serious are you about this? You, would, you have a security company that would just deal with parents, that, would, that they would uh, do the monitoring and the parents would monitor too, you know? It would be a lot of work, but if you if you hang on to that and let it go, you know, for a while they won't show up. They'll stop taking that job because it doesn't suit their needs anymore. They'll have to find something else. You know, you just box them out with you know. Then suddenly, no one's opposing taking this curriculum out. Suddenly, there's no pushback about it because you no, know, they can't get their teeth in the kids there. You know, so that's that's the thing. It's like so. It's just understanding that, and then at a local level, saying, hey, you know what we should do. So we should get cameras and you know microphones in every classroom, and we could monitor them. You know, where do you fit in? Where's your talent fit in with that? You know, but it's just you have something to focus on. It's not just go vote and wait for someone to do it for you and hope that they're not corrupt and they didn't lie to you. It's like you can actually, you know, be part of what's going on locally with the solution, and then large, then on a larger number with people locally doing that, um, it, it grows, right? So then it's a national thing, and then you know, the solutions in, then we can work on the root causes of that. They don't even lock the doors and let some teachers carry guns. Uh, well, yeah, definitely, man. Okay, there's 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 the other thing, right? Um, then we have another reason to kind of talk about why cameras should be in there and mics should be in there and live streamed. We should have real time security in schools, wherever cool, wherever you can get unauthorized access to a kid, you should be able, you should, There's that's how it should be, right? Especially if it's a taxpayer building. So, um, you know, then we say, well, hey, you know, also, if a shooter comes up, we know about it and the parents are on top of it. We have a reaction squad. We can lock things down remotely. You know, nobody has to worry about that. But we take the responsibility for our kids now. Right now, things like that are left up to um, the schools. You know, in a lot of cases, people that don't have kids. That's the other thing. What are people who don't have kids doing making decisions for parents? That doesn't make any sense. They don't have parenting experience. They don't understand that and I don't think that they uh, I don't think that parents should be dictated to by people who haven't become parents yet um, you know they should you know be learning from the parents because if they want to be parents but at the same time it doesn't seem right that we, we accept uh, we accept people that um, and put them in positions of power when they don't have kids they don't have any skin in the game you know you got, skin in the game changes everything changes you